Hey guys, welcome to Tech with Aman. And uh, in this video, we'll look how to create a reporting service, and that is a distributed reporting service using Apache Kafka. So, like uh, our use case is basically we have some prepared data on some database, let's say MySQL or Mongo, any any data source it can be. So we will be pulling out the data, and uh, like we are creating a email and sending that email to the user okay nothing more than that our service is using but the problem here is ki we have we are having thousands of the users okay so this like we we will try to solve this use case with kafka and uh, i think that will help you a lot to understand the kafka so let's start so in our typical use case what are we having uh, we are having this service Okay, and we are feeding the list of users, let's say email ID of the users to this service. Okay, and this service is running in a loop. It is taking list of the users and running in a loop and pulling data from for each of the user. Let's say this is uh, like there is a lot of data uh, for each user. So it typically take let's say 100 milliseconds to pull that data because the data size is high okay so it is taking 100 millisecond to uh, pull the data and then it it is sending it is calling some uh, mailing service uh, which send the email to the user okay so that is also let's say taking 10 ms okay so it uh, we are taking almost 110 ms in this uh, use case for single user okay and if we like uh, multiply it to the users so we have let's say uh, 10,000 users okay so it comes out to be so it will take around 18.3 minutes to send all of this data okay so problem here is key it is taking a lot of time we have single point of failure so if this service fail then we will not know like to which user we have sent this data we can cope up uh, with that by like storing each send like once we send to one user then we can store it in some database to mark that uh, we have sent to this user and if service comes up again then it will pick from the like remaining users only okay the by using these techniques we can solve this but like the single point of failure will always be there and, and let's say we have instead of 10,000 users we have 100,000 users okay so it will take much more time and it is not advised to like do such a bulk uh, uh, bulk task in single service okay and uh, like load on that service will also be high okay but it, because it is running in a single uh, instance of that service is running okay and uh, okay so we want to like distribute this so how we can distribute this so we can use kafka here to distribute this okay let me show you that also so this is our implementation using kafka so what we have done here is ki we pick the same uh, list of users and instead of processing all of that list of users and that is sending email to the user uh, what this service is doing it's just pulling pulling out that data and pushing it in a kafka topic okay let's say the kafka topic name is reporting here okay and we are just pushing that list of uh, let's say we are just pu pushing the email id okay email id to this reporting topic and let's say we have uh, 100 partitions of this uh, reporting okay so we can send 100 concurrent messages or emails or whatever task we can do 100 of them at the same time okay and we have multiple consumers let's say this service is running and it is consuming from this to reporting topic okay and it can be let's say we are uh, running 10 instance so each instance will make 10 connections uh, with kafka okay so basically each instance will be consuming from 10 partitions of that topic okay and uh, this this service will be doing the similar uh, activity it was doing earlier so it was it will pull the data from the database and send it to the user okay and whenever they send it they mark that uh, like they mark that in kafka that we have consumed that in this and give me more data 
so uh, it will pull uh, one consumer will pull one record that is one email id pull data for that from database and send email to the user okay and let's assume here on also uh, it is typically taking uh, uh, 100 millisecond here and 10 millisecond here so with the same example it will take uh, it uh, in earlier example it was taking 18.8 minutes so just divide it by 100 so it will take 0 0.188 minutes only because we have like parallelized that uh, sending process okay and also we have removed the single point of failure so we have multiple instances running here so if this instance uh, like uh, crashes something happens it and it crashes then other like uh, other instances will connect to the those partitions and start pulling data that is email id and uh, doing processing of that uh, record that that will be pulling out data from the database and then pushing the email to the user okay so in this use case we can clearly see ki kafka is very useful for these kind of asynchronous processing because like we just push the records uh, for which we need to do something in topic and consumers will pick them and uh, like to process them and one more advantage here is ki these let's say these services these uh, containers or pods anything these can do other works also okay so let's say your service you are uh, uh, delivering some uh, content on these services so we you can put the you can reuse existing containers to like put your consumers there and use this for sending uh, these kind uh, reporting these kind of data okay so that's all for this video and uh, hope you understand some things about kafka uh, if you like it please like share and subscribe for more content thank you